All right, we have the final game of group three. MCA's team versus Dodie's team. A rematch from the beginning here. We have brown, white, and orange. Brown, I guess uh, Dodie's gonna be the right side this time. Orange. And the other teams are yellow, red, and purple. Oh. Whoops. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna leave that as red. So, look at the races. We have uh, simply Moxie as Protoss as red. We have Radley as purple as Terran, and the flex player wands is gonna choose to be Zerg. Protoss, Terran, Zerg for Team MCA. And for uh, the team we've been following all along, we have Ace as Zerg, Lockdog as Protoss, and Dodie is also Protoss. So Zerg, Protoss, Terran versus Zerg, Protoss, Protoss. Uh, apparently, Dodie has Korean font, and I cannot see it. Not that I'd know what it meant anyway. Hmm. No, it wasn't Deutsch. Uh, German's na native on it. No, nope, definitely, uh, definitely Korean. I mean, it could be some other. It could be some other language. It's not definitely Korean, but it's definitely not German. So, Ace with another twelve hatch. We have two racks. We have two gate. This wands. Not exactly sure. I'm going to say 12 pool. It certainly doesn't look like a 9 pool, and the spawning pool is much quicker than the hatch race. It's not a 12 hatch. And then two gates for the other Protosses. Um, we're rallying Reens to somewhere? Hmm. Guess who am I clicked on? I clicked on white. I guess I can't, if I'm clicked on a player, I can't see pings from the other team. Interesting. <sighs> or maybe they're just delayed a lot. That'd be kind of funny if they were just delayed that much. Hmm. All right. So, um, once again, we do have two players who are um, sharing this top left side, and they can just control this one choke pretty easily and uh, protect both bases. I really, I really would like some kind of uh, defensive structure here. Just like a couple, of, maybe just a couple of Raxes. Just because you're defending two people with that. And Protoss, Protoss, Zerg can be quite aggressive. Alright, here we go. Ace getting immediately turned away by a lot of Marines there. Uh, the Marines, oh, I was going to say they didn't have medics, but here come the medics. So, there are a couple in here to help out the Marines against the Zealots, but that is so many Zell... No! Apparently it's not enough Zealots. Um, as the Zealots are going to back off, they don't want to have to deal with that much DPS. And now we have, uh, Firebats out. So Firebats, uh, may gonna make short work of the Lings.
All right. All right. So here we go. First, um, excuse me. First, first real attack on a base rather than just engagements out in the middle of the map. It's going to be Ace uh, in the hot seat. But Lockdog Zealots are enough to at least force um, Radley back. Or they're actually in pursuit, but away from Ace's base. Over on this side of the map, uh, the Zealots taking a lot of damage for Doty. He's going to have a hard time holding off that many uh, Zerglings. Wait, whoops, this is not Doty's base. Okay, Doty was going to attack. And then he just got killed off. That's fine. A couple of zealots. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So Ace is still in a lot of trouble here, as that's a very high number of zealots along with marines and a bunch of other stuff. There are two sunkens here and a very nice sim city, but it only gets you so far when the zealots can just ignore the sunkens and attack the spawning pool, and especially when you start to fa factor in this many marines. Um, the Sunkens are, to a large extent, attacking the Marines instead of attacking the Zealots, which is nice, but it's obviously not going to be enough with just two Sunkens. More Sunkens coming up in the back, trying to help out, and we do have some Zealots from Lockdog coming in. It's not going to be enough to save the spawning pool, but it might just be enough to save Ace's life here. Oh, more Zerglings are coming in. There are two Sunkens, and that's what Ace has to rely on right now. Drone Drills is the only shot, but there are still Marines. There are still Marines doing a, a massive amount of damage. The Sunken it is going to go down. And Ace is eliminated! Seriously, what, we're 6 for 7 now? In games where Ace is eliminated? Of which he won half of those. Ridiculous. All right. Anyway, uh, we do have Doty, who did not help try to save Ace. Instead, went for an attack on the Protoss. It's not, or not an attack on the Protoss. Attack on the Zerg. It's not going to quite be enough. And once again, turned back. So it look well. No, it's not quite a 3v2. Ace is mining. Slowly. With the longest distance possible, he is mining. Like, literally, I don't know if it's possible to place an expo farther away from a mineral patch on this map. I guess he could have put it a little bit farther up, but I think that's the longest distance between anywhere you can place an expo and the closest mineral patch. I think it'd be I think it'd be quicker if he was just mining from here instead. Hmm. All right. So, what's the tech looking like? Um, for the Protoss on the mix team. We have uh, Templar tech. We saw some Dark Templar out in the middle of the map, but we're just about done with Storm and Speed. Uh, for Terran, he's still very uh, bio-focused, but should be switching into mech pretty soon here. Yeah, he's throwing down two factories. Um, with just two Protoss opponents left, uh, not a huge need for the M&M &M anymore. And start to get less effective uh, over time. Um, and the other Protoss on that team is... Hmm. Just going a lot of gateways. Oh, shoot. Dang it, I keep mixing this up. This is Doty. This is Doty. Doty and Logtrog both have DT tech and are going to attack the Zerg. It's just this corner. It's this corner versus the other guys. God, try to remember that. So, uh, DTs are kicking out. 
the force is going to be big enough to kill off whatever Lockdog and Doty bring to attack here. It's just a matter of how much damage can they do before that happens. Um, a good amount of damage. A good amount of damage now that those units are getting here. Hmm. There is a sneaky DT in here that is racking up a lot of kills, up to 10 already, and it's just going to keep killing because nothing's attacking it yet. 12, 13, 14 before it goes down. Very nice. So that's... And that's going to hurt Wands. He's down to just 22 supply. Which isn't... It's not that much higher than 7. Which Ace has been doing nothing but making drones for the past 5 minutes. Not 5 minutes, but for the past 3 minutes. He's managed to make 4 of them. Bo they, boom, now he can make 5 of them. There we go. His 5th drone made since expanding. Alright, um... Pretty nice storm for Lockdog. Ooh, but those tanks are going to be really hard for him to deal with. There are a lot of storms, though, as Doty brings some storms of his own. Are they going to be enough? Could they possibly be enough against forces of that size? The tanks are helping out. There's only two of them, but the two are in range to start selling some of this stuff. It looks like he's going to need to regroup before this uh, front gets broken. There's only one cannon left, and here we go bringing full force to bear. Lockdog has expanded, but I don't think this expansion is going to stay up much longer. A very nice storm, and that is certainly going to help out too, but the speed lots. Speed lots are just a little bit too good. Photon cannon warping in. Oh, can he target the tanks? Oh, where'd the low health tank go? Oh, it's still back here. I knew one of them had gotten stormed or otherwise was in... Uh, otherwise was in trouble. Uh, Lockdog's gonna have to give up this base. Not a hugely important base, but unfortunately he's gonna lose it. More Templar coming out. If he can land some really nice storms, he might be able to make something happen. Doty has speed coming out. Oh, the Templar goes down um, without casting a storm, I don't think. Zealous do clean up a lot of tanks, though, and then run away. So nice little attack from... Nice little attack from Doty. Ace quit? Ace! Ace! Why are you not giving up? Or wh why are you giving up? Why are you not fighting? Your allies are fighting. You have to try to contribute with something. Like anything? You could make overlords and then give your vision or something. I don't know. Ace! I think Ace is just frustrated he's been eliminated so many times. All right, uh, ooh, wow. He completely whiffed that storm. Oh, that's bad. All right. Oh, uh, there we go. That's a better storm. Getting, uh, still doesn't get any tanks, though. I'm pretty sure he's trying to hit the tanks, too, because he's getting very close to tanks both times. And storm, there we go. That's the really good storm that he's looking for and that he needs to get more of. But Lockdog completely incapacitated. He just has to try to do his best to defend. On the other side, Doty also dealing with a stern defense here. Um, that overlord is going to be picked off. I think it was just for scouting. And that wasn't a mistake. Uh, do have Hive coming up. We haven't seen the Zerg player do too much other than build Zerglings. They have a Hygelus Den and are getting uh, Zergling upgrades. Hmm. Alright. So, slowly but surely, we have uh, Radley moving in. Now throwing down two bunkers. I guess with two bunkers, he's not going to move in anymore. He just wants to hold, um, hold Lockdog out. Or hold hold block dog in, and hold uh, <clears throat> just hold him away from Doty's base. Doty has a lot of Templar. Oh really? Really? We're blinding the high Templars? Huh. All right, Radley. Radley. Radley's feeling himself. We got a little BM going. I mean, it could be worse. 
It could be worse because you can think. You can't. It's possible to think. I'm trying to find that one blind one. I must have already died. Um, uh, you could think of a reason why that would be good. Like when the Templar walks out to go storm something, if they don't have vision, you have to send like a buddy to go with them. So it's like you could kind of conceive a reason. If Radley wants to truly, truly style on Doty, he's going to start blinding the High Templar and then restoring the High Templar. Just for shits. Anyway, this is uh, not looking good. It's 165 supply for Doty and um, Lockdog combined. And compare that to 50 ish plus 90 ish is 140 plus another 90 is 230. 230 versus 160? No, they do not. Uh, they don't have an observatory. Really, they're both contained. Like, this is contained, and this is contained. I think this is contained even better, because it has bunkers. Yeah, Radley. Radley thinks it's better contained, too. Um, Ling's going in without anybody's help. The, the two Protoss players are, like, arguing. Or, not the two Protoss players. Um. Uh. Alright. All right, so, um, <sighs> trying to attack Doty again? They're just switching back and forth which one they want to uh, put their attention on. They don't, they're having trouble actually killing either one of them. But it's not as if Doty or Lockdog's gaining any position in this fight. They're just, at the beginning of the battle they're contained, at the end of the battle they're still contained. Because, you know what it is? I think Radley forgot that... Tanks have an unsiege button. Oh. Oh, here we go. Storm. Whiffs on the storm. Again. Again. Lock dog. Storm's terrible this game. But he broke out. He broke out. Progress. I don't know how much progress. I mean, he's throwing away all the supply on this attack. And the siege tanks are just going to come immediately back. Dude, that's the problem with Siege Tanks. Look, the Siege Tanks are set up here. The Siege Tanks are set up here to contain Doty. But they are accidentally helping contain Lot Dog. Because they're so goddamn good. That is stupid. All right. So, zealots are going to attack. Zealots are not going to quite be enough once again to pick off the tanks as simply Moxie comes back. Man, like credit to Lockdog and Doty for not dying. I don't know how they managed to live this long, but they're doing a good job. Can they nuke dodge? Where's the command center? There it is. Okay, where's the ghost? We have we have the we have the silo. We don't have a ghost. And we don't have the nuke built yet. Ghosts. Alright, we have ghosts. Okay, so we have three of the four pieces. We have got covert ops. We got Silo, we got Ghosts, now we have Nuke. Okay. All four pieces are in place. Does he have two of them? He built two Ghosts. It'd be pretty sick to do a double nuclear strike. Mmm, man. Okay. Like, 
the, the Zerg hasn't. The Zerg's been stupidly aggressive. But the Protoss and the Terran have been way too passive up to this point. They now need to be more passive, because if this game ends before we get the payoff of the nuke, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be very sad. Uh, oh, stop attacking. Protoss? Protoss, can you not see that your ally is getting nukes? No! Moxie! Moxie, stop attacking! Stop having way more than Lockdog! No! He's, he's trying to stop the cannons from going down before they finish, but the nuke could stop the cannons too. Nukes are pretty good at killing cannons. Like, really, really good. Where did those ghosts go? There's a ghost. There's another ghost. Okay. We have ghosts. We have a nuke. We got a nuke, man. We got a nuke. No! No, Foxy! Stop attacking! Foxy, back up! Back, no, go, oh, go away. Go away. Please, please stop using your more than double supply to murder Lockdog. Yes! We have a nuke. Where is it? Where is it? No, 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 no. Did I really not have a chance to see the nuke go down? There we go! Alright. Alright, I caught it. I caught it. Everything's fine. Thank you, Lockdog, for not immediately leaving the game. You are my hero. Oh. All right. Ace. You need to stop getting eliminated. It's really not helping your team out. Ah, uh, yeah. So, game number two. Game number two of this. <sighs> so, again, the winner of this set will be moving into day two, and the loser will be going home, which means that Wands and company just need one more win. So, we have um, Wands, no, oh, whoops, Lockdog, Ace, and Doty. As orange, red, and brown. Okay, so just change that white to red. Okay. And then... Hmm. Uh, he is not. <laughs> Oh, Doty. Alright. Okay, uh, the other team that wasn't paying enough attention was T... Shoot, I got the colors wrong again, didn't I? Okay, it's not red. It's orange, brown, and teal. Dang it, I put wands on the other team twice now. Teal. Alright, and the other team is red, purple, and yellow. Really? They're the same colors as last time? Huh. Well, that doesn't happen very often, I would assume. It's like, what, what are the odds of that happening? It's like, hmm. There, there's what, nine colors? I'm gonna say there's nine colors. So, the chances of that happening is 1 over 9 times 8 times 7? 9 times 56 is 450 plus 63 is 513? One, one out of 513 chance that they roll the same? No, it's not the same. Because they aren't, because um, they switched around... Um, it, within themselves, they switch around colors. So it's not quite that good. It'd be like one third times one quarter times one seventh. So.
So 12 times 7 is 84. 1 out of 84? Still, it's not that not that likely to happen. Not that likely to happen. As I do stats in my head. Again, a terrible idea to be doing during cast. There are, oh, there are only 8 colors? I thought there were 9. Okay. Then that really messes it up, because that means it's 3 over 8 times 2 over 7 times 1 over 6. Which is... 6 over 8 times... 42? No, 8 times 30. Yeah. Yeah, it's 6 over 8 times 42. Which is just 1 over 56. It's 1 over 56. Is the odds that they're all the same color again. The players don't have the same color. It's just the teams have the same color. So yeah, it's it's 3 out of 8 for the first guy, then 2 out of 7 for the second guy, then 1 out of 6 for the last guy. Which is 6 over 7 times 8 times 6, which is 1 over 7 times 8, which is 1 over 56. And with all of that, okay, red, purple, and yellow. So purple and yellow are down here, and red's over here. So red is uh, left out on an island. That is very unfortunate that red is in a position that can be attacked very easily by orange. And then um, his allies are very far away. I think that... I think red's going to end up having a lot of trouble this game. A lot of trouble. Alright, Academy's up for Radley, so he can start to get Marines out. And a four gate from uh simply Moxie. Doty where's the gateways? Okay, so two gate, then core, then immediate citadel. So Doty is going to be rushing um DT tech. Very quick DT tech. Which uh could be good. It's going to take a long time for Red to get any Overlords down there, and normally you don't quite think about that, when, especially as Protoss, when it's like, well, either my Terran ally will get scanned, or my Zerg ally will give me an Overlord. I don't need to get Observers. But with fast ETs, the scan might not be in time, and the Overlords might not have a chance to get down there. Could be bad. Alright, so Radley's contained, because he can't get through the cannons. Um, Ace was threatening to contain Moxie, but that's not going to work with just Zerglings. So Moxie can get out, but uh, certainly contained over here. Uh, excuse me, certainly one's contained over there, and Radley's contained down here. With those two contained, they might just want to try to attack Moxie, and uh, yeah, Moxie... Uh, thinks the attack's coming his way. Ace has a lot of lings. I don't know if this is enough, though. I don't know if it's quite going to be enough. I think he's going to need DTs to help out with that attack. Um, Indeed, we got some DTs. Wow. That is not a fun wall to have to deal with. No, one out of five sixty. One out of five sixty would be um, if they were all the same colors too. If if Wands had been red and then he was red again, and Radley had been purple and he was purple again, and uh, Moxie was yellow and he was yellow again, which isn't right. Alright, so, we got DTs. There is one Overlord to help out, um, Terran. So it's gonna be up to, um, it's gonna be up to Radley to pick his spots of when he wants to use his scan to help try to save his ally. Uh, cannons are coming in, and the cannons should be enough. 
The DT, oh, there is another overlord here. Huh, he managed to float two out. I thought he only had one coming down, but no. Uh, there is two of them. Oh, uh, well then. He does break the front, um, the wall at the front though, so the lings can all stream in, and that is a lot of lings attacking a cyber core. So Ace has just been building Ling so far. He does have a Hydralisk then, um, but just using it to get Lurkers now. And what has um, what has Wands been doing? He got some Hydralisks, but he's just stuck on two bases. Wow. Ace is ridiculously happy. Now, Hydra's... It's kind of... It's kind of a hard... It's kind of an odd decision. You, the choice is either go Hydra's or go Mutalisks. If you go Hydralisks, you have to bust through the wall eventually. And Hydralisks can bust through walls pretty well with, um, if they're not supported. But it means you can't do any... Yeah, but you have to bust through the wall. You can't do anything until then. If you go Mutalisks, you can fly out of your base but the issue is you won't have a huge ground army so it means that any units that happen to be by the wall can just counterattack immediately but usually you have enough sucker colonies that it'll still be fine hmm. he could also drop although he's not researching it if he really just wanted to go hydralisks and get out Alright, so some DTs from Moxie. Uh, how many Zerglings is he going to kill? Uh, a bunch. A bunch until... This comes in. Uh, a pair... He saw the Lurker Egg coming in. So, Lurkers have been revealed. Hmm. And there's the Robo for the Observers. Could really use it now. And it looks like... It looks like we're not going to have any early eliminations. For the first time. Uh, in this. As, um, we really have a good contain going down on Terran. With a Dark Archon? It's gotten two kills. Medic kills? The Dark Archon fed back two medics. No. No, it couldn't have. It either fed back two medics, or the DTs had kills before it became an, Ar an Archon. Because he hasn't built any High Templar, so it's not, he didn't feed back any of them. Uh, I don't know. If you have DTs just sitting around, and then DTs have, or not DTs, you have, if you have Dark Archons just sitting around, and they have ridiculously long feedback range, and then there's some medics hanging out a little bit too far forward, maybe you can just. I think it's a red Archon, not a dark Archon. All right. So here's the drop from Wands, he has speed on his overlords. He's going to drop them on this base, and he's going to be very sad that he dropped them on this base. Here we go. Oh, Does he, have enough he has enough energy for two! He has enough energy for two! But he doesn't have anything to actually kill them! Oh, Doty! Doty! You were so close to a pimp play, but then you forgot you can't actually kill any of them. He killed one. He got one overlord for how cool that should have been. God damn it, dude. Yeah. 
Actually, if he had just let them drop over here, they all would have been killed by lurkers. That DT actually was anti-pimp. It did really cool shit that dramatically hurt the team. Oh. Doty. Alright, here we go. Next drop attempt. This time they all, all will just die. Because lurkers are really good versus links. Uh, looks like Protoss um, is going to be attacking before the contain goes down. Radley's not quite ready for the attack. Um, oh, Ooh, that's what he's doing. He's dropping in some siege tank reinforcements. Interesting. Uh, Doty's throwing his weight behind this attack. He has a lot of storms to offer here, and those tanks are a little bit clumped up. So some nice targets there. Boom. Simultaneously, all four tanks go down. Keeping them back. Keeping them back. And it did buy enough time for Lockdog to get his cannons up. So now, uh, no more cannons in front of Terran's base, but there are going to be cannons in front of Protoss's base. And the drop. Uh, oops. Little mistake from Wands flying the overlords a little too close to the cannons, but that's fine. That's fine. He has he has plenty of excess supply right now. Yeah. So, Wands and Ace are both not going to be able to contribute much going later into the game. I mean, they just. They, they have 80 supply compared to all the other people. Oh, they don't have that much more. But really, um, we haven't seen Ace do too much. He's defended his own base against drops a couple times, but hasn't helped out in a team fight for a while. And here comes Wands again. Snipes one Overlord, but it's an Overlord with nothing in it. Oh, almost all these Overlords have nothing in it. Just these two in the front. And that's even not that much. Just two Zerglings, two Hydralisks. Okay, so Wands is going to throw away a bunch of Overlords. Uh, but he does drop on this side. He does drop on this side, and the Lurkers pick up some drone kills. It looks like... was was it? Five? No, more than five, because there were a little bit that were stacked here. So, picking up some nice drone kills. Uh, before the Lurkers are able to get back to defend, the Lings are actually doing a pretty good job here. There we go. There's a pretty solid Maelstrom there. Um, keeping a lot of the Overlords in place, but also some Hydralis and Zerglings underneath them. Doty just trying to make it worth it to have got this Dark Archon. Oh, Lurkers taking out each other. Lurker on Lurker violence. This is going to be cleaned up, but it really did hurt Ace's economy, as Ace isn't even mining anymore. Uh, looks like Doty's going in for an attack, uh, sensing that Radley might be a little bit weak right now. Doesn't have doesn't have that many tanks. There's a good number, but no like complement to the tanks. The bunkers don't even have anything in them. Or these two had bunk uh, stuff in them, but the uh, bunkers up here do not. Did not. And going in for another drop, this time the Lurker's doing what they were supposed to be doing all along, and just absolutely murdering things. Ooh, okay. He didn't have detection. Now he does, it's fine. And now it's Protoss' turn. Uh, Simply Moxie going to try to uh, bust out. We have battles on all three of the contained fronts right now. And it's... yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work out well. Alright. So, um, right now we still have status quo for red, status quo for yellow, but purple... Purple has lost their expo. And does not have a whole lot of stuff. They only have 54 supply. And how many of that is SCVs? A lot of that is SCVs. I only count two siege tanks right now. 55 plus 105 is 160 plus 80 is 240 compared to 140 
plus 60 is 200, plus uh, another 100 is 300. So 300 versus 240 right now. Uh, that's a lot of Archons. Five Archons coming in. Oh wow, that is more than five Archons. That is ten Archons? Twelve Archons. Thirteen Archons. That might have been smart. So, what, why is Lockhart coming over here with the Archons? The stupidly large Archon Ball. Uh, we have drops over on the right side, but man, Lockdog is prepared with the cannons. It's it gonna be it's enough cannons, right? All the Overlords aren't dropping. Uh, certainly to kill off the ones that he did drop. Hard to tell exactly how much he has in these Overlords. He's gonna try to drop some lurkers in the back here. Can he get some down? No, still not getting any down. Ugh. So that didn't go very well. That's kinda bad. But it's fine. It's like, this was just a roundabout path to go and help. Is that private chat? It's like, okay, we're fucking giving up on this shit. I want nuke. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. I like this. I don't know why you didn't tell your allies to wait last time. We almost didn't get to see the nuke. Oh, man. I want this. I want this Archon ball. The ball of balls to get nuked. Why does he have so many Archons? Like... He can't even get, he can't, he can't attack Zerk. There's too much stuff here to get the Archons back there to be able to attack. Archons are shit versus Terran. And they're not that good versus Protoss when they're all alone. Whatever. Uh, maybe he just like, maybe he's just spending so much money on cannons and he's like, well, I guess there's one way to use excess gas. And then he built Archons. He really should get the shield upgrade. Considering how many cannons he has and how many Archons he has, he should totally be getting the shield upgrade right now. Yeah, there we go. Um, So that's three Dark Archons. I can... Four Dark Archons. Four Dark Archons, I can safely say that is the most Dark Archons I've seen somebody build in a game where they were trying. Pretty sure. Does he have does he have mind control? I mean if he has it he certainly wouldn't be researching it now, but I hope he has mind control. Um I think Lockdog's sacrificing some goons here to free up supply. Otherwise I don't know why he'd attack with five goons. How much longer to the nuke? Nuke, 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 nuke. Yo, is he gonna do the boxer? Is he going to do the D Matrix nuke drop? I think he is. Oh, don't see it. You don't see it. You don't see it. You don't see it. Oh, hey. Once discovered that Swarm might be an effective tool at killing cannons. So, shout outs to Wands. Here we go. Nuke. 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 He's not noticing. He's not noticing. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Yes. Oh, it feels so nice. It feels so nice. 
Indeed, that was on you. Uh, meanwhile... I don't even know if that was... Oh, okay, that was a recall. I didn't know if it was drops or whether it was a re or if it was a recall because I didn't see the arbiter still there. But no, recall, and then it's like okay, Radley's done. Radley's fine. Doesn't give a shit. He's done with this game. Uh, second recall. Second recall. No second recall. Uh yeah. So this could have freaking happened at any time. He got defilers, but no, he just didn't want them. Uh, looks like Ace decided that Mutalisks would be nice. Ace is going to actually contribute something, because he has not done anything in quite a while. But that's going to eliminate Zerg. Pretty much. And, oh. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter that the Archons are only doing like 8 damage a shot. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, who went scouts? Oh, you went scouts. Lock dog went scouts again. Okay, clearly. Yo, how how are you going to beat Scout Archon? That seems way too good. Like two control groups of Archons, two control groups of Scouts. Like, or more than two control groups of Scouts. It's just like, what are you gonna do against that? What are you gonna do against that? Actually, I kind I really want to see Lockdog max out on scouts, and then attack. What the fuck? He God? What? He has scouts. My vessel. Oh. Ha! <laughs> he does have mind control. Oh. Thank- I appreciate- Radley, I appreciate the fact that you let me know that. Because otherwise I would have missed it and I would have been sad. Alright, here come the scouts. Uh, no anti-air for Radley. I can't- I really wanted to watch the scouts go and impale themselves on this. Second nuke? Shit, I don't know where it is. Where's the nuke? Where's the nuke? I don't see a purple dot on my mini-map! I'm gonna miss it. Oh. Okay, it didn't hit. Oh. They're natural dirty. <laughs> the Dodster? Shouldn't it be the Dotster? D O T? Because the name isn't D O D Y, it's D O T Y. Alright. So now, now we get to see how shit scouts are. No, we don't. We won't yet see how shit scouts are. And it looks like Radley is finally going to die. More Mutalists coming in from Ace. He's almost maxed. Wands is just like Wands is just tr fucking trying to quit. That's like the freaking fourth time he's tried to like convince his allies to quit. Game over. All right. So tied up one to one. I guess that's what happens when you try to turtle on BGH. They just cannon everywhere and then they mind control your science vessel Aww. all right let's go into the final game of group three Alright. So, yellow and. I'm sorry, yellow and purple and white. Yellow and purple and white. 
versus yellow purple versus red orange teal. Here is Ace, his yellow Zerg. Here is Doty as the purple Protoss. And here's Lockdog as the white Protoss. And over on this side, uh, ooh, Wands to switch to Protoss. All right, I like this decision. Wands back to Protoss. Bradley is orange and simply Moxie is red. So, PPT versus PPZ. Hmm. Now, last time we had a Zerg and a Protoss up in the top uh, left, the Protoss was able to contain the Zerg very easily and then just dominate. Um, Protoss might be able to do that again. If they just set up cannons here, they will not only be attacking the Zerg, but defending themselves. I think that might have been a really strong option. From Moxie. Had he wanted to go in that direction. Oh. Yeah, I'll change that to purple. All right. So, we have, uh, okay, it's, it's these three on the left. Three, three on the left on the team versus three on the right. So, Ace already getting down a creep colony, which might be helpful versus a, a cannon rush, had one been coming, but, All right, let's see. Let's see what Ace can do to defend against this. Uh, apparently he doesn't have to yet. As uh, Red is going to back off to deal with this Zealot. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Academy going down. So Radley is still sticking with Bio at first. He did talk about last game how he wanted to go mech. Out in the middle of the map, we have all the forces of Doty Ace and Lockdog. Um, threatening... Downward? Well... Doty's not. Doty's sticking up top for now, but True Touch... Excuse me. Ugh. Not true touch. Lock dog and ace. Lock dog and ace are coming down this way. Uh, there are a lot of zealous out, so Doty is gonna need to contribute to that if he wants to make a dent. It looks like he's just keeping these zealots here to try to ward off Terran from moving out, but really, if as soon as Terran gets medics, the four zealots aren't going to be enough. Hmm. All right. All right, so we got some cannons. Um, and Red is being very passive about this. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised that simply Moxie is going to decide to be scared of Ace. I thought he would just try to really quickly eliminate Ace from the game. All right, on the middle of the map, we have a very strong force of Marines and Firebats and Zealots. Um, we do have Doty trying to come in to help a little bit. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is still going to be enough. 
I don't think this is quite going to be enough. Alright. So, uh, in the meantime, Moxie did attack with a handful of zealots. And once again, Ace finding himself without enough defense of his own. He sent all of his lings down to go and attack Terran. But it looks like it's going to cost him his life. He does not have any minerals at all. So he's just transferring his drones out. It's not as if he can move to another base. And... Okay, so Ace wasn't eliminated last game. But since this is the final game that Ace will be playing, Ace will be eliminated 7 out of 9. 7 out of 9 games, Ace is eliminated. His team won half of them, though. Man. And that's really unfortunate that Ace... Uh, no, you are not going to get OBS. Ace gets nothing. Um, that's really unfortunate for... Um for that team because they took a loss here but he didn't they didn't net anything out of it and that was part of the reason why I thought Simply Moxie should have gone attack earlier if you can't kill Simply Moxie and the other two play defensively you'll just live against any attack that the two Protosses can do while Ace dies but it still just might work out for them anyway hmm It, yeah, this is not looking good at all. There are a bunch of cannons up with some more coming behind that. Man, that's a lot of zealots to have to deal with. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think Lockdog is going to die here too. Oh, but he has DTs. He has DTs. No, he... Oh, there's no Marines to kill the DTs, or at least very few. So it's up to the Zealots to pay attention to the scans and actually target the DTs down. There's still two of them left. But with that many Zealots, I think the DTs can just... Or, excuse me, I think the DTs can't kill stuff fast enough. I think that the Zealots... Just... Um... We do have a DT in the base. Um... Uh, other players DT though. Uh, Dodie sending the DT in. Uh, scanning. Can he kill it? Oh, yes he can. Very nice. Boom. Doing teamwork. Uh, these DTs are still wailing away on stuff. Lockdog trying to save what he can. He has enough money. He has. Okay, so he has three DTs and a probe, and then enough minerals to make the next again. He's fine, and now the DTs have warded them away. Uh, Templar Archives is going to go down, which is unfortunate. But it's fine. Yeah, he can just come back with the probe and remake the Nexus. What? I don't even know what he did. He microed four DTs. Really? Where are the DTs? Oh, they're... Uh. Alright. So, Radley knows how to use Stim. Is what he's trying to say. Which is pretty nice. Um... But this is over. Because Dodie... It's Dodie plus three DTs. That's it right now. And we're gonna go nuke. Three nukes in a row. It's not over. It's really over. No, Moxie. Moxie? Sh shut up, Moxie. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a horrible person for trying to stop this good, good person from getting nukes three games in a row. Alright. Where... Oh, there we go. So. Five DTs, but there's one turret. Oh, and there are more turrets back there. Darn. Darn. Alright. So, uh, there is one DT to help out here a little bit. I don't even think the DT would have been necessary. 
Dodi tried to attack with a DT down here, but there were already cans of the mineral line, so that didn't work out. And now this DT is just on hold position. Well, at least I got one probe. Where? No. No. Where's, where's your science facility? Why are you making three factories and not a science facility? This game is really over! And Lockdog built a Nexus. And then it got killed, I guess? Lockdog only has 22 minerals left. He had 422. Uh, maybe he just built extra dudes out of his gateway. Instead of actually trying to get back in. So Lockdog, he has three DTs. Oh, he has... He has three DTs and a Dragoon. Okay. He has three DTs and a Dragoon. Um, that's nice. He now has a Dragoon. There we go. Lockdog's out. Wait. Oh, fuck no. I'm sad too, Radley. I'm sad too. It's all... F it's all goddamn... Moxie's fault for having you build three factories. If you hadn't built three factories, you just immediately built the starport. It would have been you might have been able to get it in time. All right. So yeah. Um, they've won. There are no more enemies left. They just haven't turned on allied victory. Yeah. I figured that that figured that Radley's just going to stick around in the game until he nukes an ally. So, what are the, what are his allies going to do? Oh my god, no. I don't know what he's knowing about. Autobot is killing main. Is that simply Moxie? Oh, okay. He's not gonna nuke his ally. He just wanted to nuke this base. Oh, at least he's a nice guy. All right, using fire bats to kill his own comsat. That's nice. You're gonna need to make room so you can build the silo. Getting the second command center, so you can get double silo. It's a smart move. It's a smart move. I kind of really do want to... We, we don't need to see him actually making the nuke. Let's just get it out of the way. Oh... Uh, okay, we have... Alright, we're fine. Uh, is that the... Yeah, that's the ghost. Alright. 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 He went for armor without weapon upgrade. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, so Doty and his team have been eliminated. Wands. Simply Moxie and Radley move on to day number two of the BGH tour.